And no. yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's definitely going to be rough for him going back to your camp and you can hold your head up high. You did everything that you were supposed to do. You showed up on weight. You showed up ready to fight and the yeah. opponent didn't uh, show up and, and do what he was supposed to do. You know, why fight an unfair fight? It doesn't make any kind of sense. Uh, Will Romero, you last fought uh, in May. I mean, how long are you going to wait for your next fight now? Well, do, you, do you have any kind of plan? When do you want to get back into it? Yeah, man. Like, uh, I wish I could get into it right away. Like, yeah. Just isn't anything there. Bellator's coming in November. They they always want me on their show, so we're looking at November second. Now that's another three months. This year's been bad for me. It's been a really bad year because I had a fight lined up with Jeb Harrison in in February or it was, and, and that would have been a good start or March. And and I had torn I had torn a muscle, I had to withdraw from that fight. You know what I mean? And then I fought in May. That's one fight in like almost half a year. It's not it's not it's not what I'm happy with. And now this, so I'm gonna have two fights this year, <laughs> and yeah. that's that. You know, I'm 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 30 years old. You know, I don't got time to be wasting and playing. And I, I, you know, I want to make it to the UFC or I want to make it to the Belgium tournament again. I have to be fighting fights where I'm on the like like on the score where I'm gonna get that recognition if I if I exceed or do well. And that's what's gonna get me there. And this was my opportunity. And I'm you know whatever. I'm not dead. You know, I yeah. I, I get to live and and still fight another day, but. I just feel so empty, and, and I just want to say, like you said, I get to walk into my gym, with my head high. I, it's so weird because I don't even feel like that. I don't, I don't feel. I feel. Uh, I don't know. I just don't feel like proud in any way or anything at all. I feel very disappointed. Yeah, it's definitely rough, man, and I feel for you. It's. Uh, I mean, that's the worst. Uh, having to, fu- you know, getting ready for a fight, and then uh, you're being told uh, that you don't get to fight. You know, it kind of reminds me of uh, another big situation going on in MMA right now. John Jones says he doesn't want to fight Chael Sonnen, and now nobody gets to fight on September 1st. I mean, how would you feel if you were on that card, right? Uh, you know, I'm so happy you asked me that because the the whole world, it seems, that is 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 killing John Jones here. They're, 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 sorry if I can say this, they're shitting on him. And these <laughs> people, you know what, I understand there's fans, and I'm a fan too. And and they gotta understand, John Jones is not just a piece of meat. He's not just some robot. He's a human, and yeah. he has a profession and a job and a career like everybody else does, or like most people do. And he can't gamble with that. Sure, people are saying, "Oh well, now the whole rest of the people don't get to fight because of John Jones." That's not true. It's not because of John Jones. It's because UFC, Dana White, and, and whoever couldn't come up with another main event. It's yeah. not in John Jones' hands if he does, if his fight scratch that everybody else doesn't get to fight. It's it's horrible that they're putting this on John Jones like that. Uh, he's a human, and he's got interest. He's not chicken. He's not whatever. He's beaten legends in MMA. Yeah. He would, I, in my opinion, he would smash Chael. But the, all the risks involved, because Chael is still a hell of a fighter. He's an amazing fighter. Yeah. And and you know what? With all the risks involved, if he were to lose to Chael Sonnen, his career is is goes upside down. You know what I mean? And 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 they should say, well, he's a champ. He's ready. He trained. Yeah, but he's a champ. He was focused on a certain fighter. He agreed to fight that fighter. He did his job. It didn't happen. You know what? It's not his problem. It's not his fault. And I hope people can just put their feelings aside of uh, just wanting people to fight. Oh, just let them fight. No, man. Like, he's human. He's got interest right. in his life as well. And it's not about the money, and it's not about being a champion. It's about his career. He's young. He's 20-whatever, two, three, whatever. He's He's got his whole future ahead of him, and he, he needs to make the right steps to, you know, leave the legacy he wants to leave behind. But people are looking at the fight, right? And they're saying, well, Chael Sonnen's coming off a loss. He wasn't preparing to fight on September 1st. He's willing to take the fight against John Jones, which is, you know, I mean, he's obviously got more to gain than John does by beating Chael Sonnen. 100%. But... He's got over a million dollars to gain. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know what I'm hey, oh, yeah. hey, 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 you want me to fight John Jones? Uh, I'll fight John Jones. <laughs> I don't care. I'll fight him on eight days' notice. I don't give a shit. I get to fight the, one of the best fighters in MMA. And I let him whoop my ass, and I'll, I'll make a killing for it. No yeah. problem. Even Chris you know I mean? Chris Weidman was like, "Yeah, I'll fight John Jones. He was going to go up to to light heavyweight. He didn't care. Everybody wanted to go up and fight John Jones because of you're going to make a killing. Yeah, hey, yeah. Day. we're fighters. We're going to fight. It's all good. But you know what? At the end, at the end of the day, for somebody, it's got to make sense. You know what I mean? And these people are humans. Fighters are humans. Yeah, you want to see us fight and, and stuff, but man, give us a break. You know what I mean? We're humans. We have we have. We have things that we're looking forward to in our career as well. If 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 I don't if I if I fought Douglas and I lost because of some bullshit like yeah, he, let's just say it, you know what I mean. It, that that's a big hit for me. That's a huge hit. You know what I mean? That's a huge hit. Yeah. I can't take chances like that. I'm no. I'm hey, I signed to fight. I said I was going to fight this guy at at, at 145 or a reasonable weight. You know what I mean? 
I understand shit happens. You're going to miss weight, sure, two, three pounds, tops, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can't be almost a whole, you know, half a weight class above me. I'm sorry, and he's not just some guy. Like, he's, 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 he's a fighter. He comes to knock people out, eight wins, seven knockouts. You know what I mean? Like, nah, man. You want to fight? Let's make it fair. You know what I mean? And the thing, like I said, is weight and, and MMA has a big role. You know what I mean? He's going to blow up. Now he's going to go rehydrate, blow up. He's going to be huge. At least 175. Or, or 170, you know yeah. what I mean? He's, yeah. he's a top player. Close to that, at least anyways. I'm not getting, I'm, I'm, I'm hitting 163 if I'm lucky. You know what I mean? He's going to have a 10-pound weight advantage on me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I can't, you know what I mean? It's MMA. I'm not going to fight with someone having that advantage over me. Power advantage, size advantage, weight advantage. I can't do it. If it was a Muay Thai fight or boxing fight, let's bang, because that ain't going to do nothing for you. Some power, but it's all good. You know what I mean? But, whatever. It really you know? is the grappling, right? It's the grappling that affects the weight so much. When a guy's sitting on top of you and he's got 10 pounds sure. on you, it makes for a difference, sure. especially when he's a really skilled grappler. It makes a big difference. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, for sure. Or if he's a strong wrestler or something. Not that he is, in my opinion, a strong wrestler or a strong grappler. He comes from Caesar Gracie Camp, but that's not the strength, in my opinion. But nonetheless, he's been in the game for a long time. He's fought a lot of good fighters. He fought at a high level. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a... I understand that it's a risk, you know, so I just, what can you do, you know? Uh, I'm, I'm, mad. Yeah. I'm mad, at, I'm mad at him, I'm mad at the whole situation. Yeah, you have a right to be mad, and uh, I'd be mad if I were you as well. Um, you enjoying living in Montreal, though, leaving uh, Ontario to come live here? It's got to be nice, right? Yeah, Montreal's great, Montreal's great. Montreal's an awesome city, uh, I love everything about it, except for the traffic. <laughs> Yeah, there's traffic in Montreal. There's always construction on the highways, and I don't like. But everything else is great. The people are great. There's, it's so much uh, multicultural. Everything you know, good food, beautiful people. You know, and uh, I'm happy. I'm happy there. And then, and then, besides that, like, it's where I spend most of my time in camp in the gym, and like it's it's incredible because I have great coaches there. Uh, you know, like I do here as well. But the teammates are are incredible. I mean, you have people from everywhere, and everybody's good at something, and there's so many UFC uh, guys on the roster to work with. So every day is work. Every day, six days a week, two times a day, every day is work. And you know, if you're going to train at that gym with the professionals, you're not, you're not, you're not, you know, people who go there, they're serious. They train hard, and uh, every day is like a fight. So it's, it's amazing. And I'm very, very happy, and I'm going to be there until, uh, you know, I make it to the UFC or until I know that my career is definitely done. You know, and yeah. then, uh, you know, I'm, that's, that's the plan. Well, that's definitely a good plan, great place to be. You talk about making it to the UFC, um, you know, and training with UFC fighters, obviously fighting in Bellator right now, but the goal is the UFC. Uh, where do you say, see yourself uh, as far as your path on that goal? you got a guy, Mitch Gagne. I remember you getting a win over Mitch Gagne here in Montreal, back for the old XMMA promotion. He's in the UFC now. Uh, you know, what do you think about that? Yeah, that's uh, you know I'm happy for Mitch. Mitch is a good fighter and he's a hard worker. I uh, you know I'm happy for him. I wanted him to win. He he when he went to the UFC, I was yeah. cheering for him and it was, he was so close. He did really well and unfortunately he didn't get the win and he did get fight of the night. So good for him. You know he he I think he had an amazing uh, debut. So I'm happy for him and then and then yeah for me as far as I look at that and I say I'm his only I was his only loss to that point. Yep. And, uh, you know, and uh, it just says something about where I can be as well, you know. And I didn't, it didn't take for that to, to convince me. I, I, I believe in myself and I believe in, in, in my dreams. And I feel that it is my destiny and that I'm going to be there. And, and this is what I was born to do. Maybe, you know, I want to, I dream of being a world champion. Will it happen? Maybe not. Everybody has that dream. But I know that uh, I'm in the right place. I'm doing the right things. And God, I feel that God has set, you know, the passing this way for me and then you know so we'll see what happens you know I, i'm just going to try my best and and things are working out the way they should be well will hopefully uh things go better for you uh in the rest of 2012 i'm really sorry again that uh your opponent couldn't uh, be professional enough to make weight and uh, you're not fighting tomorrow night was looking forward to watching you fight hopefully we'll see you again in the cage real soon and uh we'll talk to you again soon too thanks so much i appreciate it guys